Genesis, and this story is going to be, uh, here's the icon. Can anyone describe the icon? It looks like a man. Is it Jesus holding a baby? No. Wait a minute. Somebody said Isaac. Okay, Isaac is the baby or the man? The baby's Isaac. And who's the man? Abraham. Okay. Okay, you got it. Alright, this is going to be really fun because I'm going to be talking through the story while some volunteers act it out for me. Hey, I need a, I need an Abraham. There's any cards for Abraham? I need a Sarah jean jacket. Sarah, okay. And then uh, three, I need three people. So, Anna, Lori, and thank you. Okay. All right, you guys. Who wants to be the baby? You yeah. <laughs> don't need the baby yet. Okay. Hold on. I'll, have, I'll pick a baby later, okay? But, but first, we have, to find out, we have to find out what happens in the story, okay? So, Abraham, um, we had a prop for you, I think. No, 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 we don't do that yet. Okay, just pretend he's an old man with gray hair. Like, like stroke your hair a little bit. Like you have a beard. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Abraham, Sarah, two other people. Um, oh, I know. Abraham and Sarah, go over by your tent here. Okay. Uh, and you three go over on that side. Okay. All right. So Sarah, you can go over by the tent too. Okay, here we go. You're gonna act it out as I talk through it. So our story starts in Genesis 18, and the passages will be on the screen, all right? So one day, Abraham was sitting at his tent. Sit at your tent, okay? Uh, the, the sun was beating on him, and it was hot. You know, wipe the sweat off your brow for you. He looked up, he saw three men walking his way, so he got up to meet them. So he started walking slowly, but he didn't get up slowly or greet them with a handshake. No, he got up and he ran to them. He ran to them, and he welcomed them by bowing down all the way to the ground. So bow down. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's what he said. Now you got to repeat that me. You ready? He said, my Lord. If it pleases you, stop here for a while. Rest in the shade of this tree while water is brought to wash your feet. Now wash the feet. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. And since you've honored your servant with this visit, let me prepare some food to refresh you. So say, let me get some food for you. Okay. So they said, all right. Do as you have said. So Abraham rushed to his wife Sarah in the tent, 
And he said, he said to her, this is her, go get some food for the guests. Yeah, and so he started prepping um, his workers to serve these men. So while the men ate, so come on over here now. I, I guess we call them the, the people. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, that's confusing. Okay. So the three people, while they ate, they asked Abraham. Um, okay, so, so now you girls ask Abraham, where is your wife Sarah? And Abraham told them, she's in the tent. Sarah was listening into the whole conversation, and guess what the three men said next? One of the men said, okay, who's going to be this one? Lori. Lori. Okay. Say, I will return to you about this time next year. And your wife Sarah will have a son. Okay, now when, when Sarah heard this, she laughed at herself. Laughed. Out loud. Out <laughs> loud. Okay, and here's why she laughed. She laughed because her and Abraham were way past the age of having kids. They were really old people. She even said, okay, ready for this line? She, okay, listen. She said, how can an old woman like me? And an old man like him have a baby? And then she said this. She said, we are so old. <laughs> okay, okay, now Lori, you have to say this one. Uh, so then, then uh, the Lord said to Abraham, and he says, why is Sarah laughing? Why did she say, how can an old woman like her have a baby? Is there anything too hard for the Lord? <laughs> so, so now he said, I will return next year and Sarah will have a baby. Okay, now, now Sarah, Sarah was afraid, so she denied saying it, and here's what she said. I didn't laugh. But the Lord knew, the Lord knew, and said, no, you did laugh. Oh, I think Sarah's busted. She busted. <laughs> okay, okay, ready? Everybody freeze. Freeze. Ready? One, two, three. Freeze. Okay, let's, let's pause right here. So we're going to recap the story, okay? So, Abraham's hanging by his tent. The men walk up. Abraham runs out, bows down. He prepares a meal for them. One of the men, who is the Lord, says that Sarah will have a baby next year. Sarah laughs and doesn't believe it because she and Abraham are too old. Oh, the Lord said, the Lord goes, hey, is there anything too hard for the Lord? And do you guys think there's anything too hard for the Lord? No, 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 no there's nothing too hard for So, and another thing is, God fulfills his promises. Okay, let's say this one together. Ready? God fulfills his promises. So, so, what do you think is going to happen next in this story? You think he's going to have a baby? Okay. Okay, check this out. Genesis. 
Abraham, come here. Abraham, come here. Okay. Hey, you guys, I'm going to keep the baby quiet. Everybody, please, please be quiet or we can't go on with the story. Hey, this one is really fun, but if, if, we, if it's too loud, then we can't go through. So, okay. Everybody, eyes up here. Eyes up here. Okay. Genesis 21, 1 through 3. The Lord kept his word and did for Sarah exactly, exactly what, he, what he had promised. She became pregnant and she gave birth to a son for Abraham in his old age. And here is your baby, Isaac. This happened just at the time God said it would. And Abraham named his son Isaac. Yep. You guys, listen to this next part. Abraham was 100 years old when Isaac was born. And Sarah declared, ready Sarah for your line here? God has brought me laughter. All who hear about this will laugh with me. Let's laugh with her. <laughs> and, and said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse the baby, yet I have given Abraham a son in his old age. So did God fulfill his promise? God fulfilled his promise, but now Abraham's faith is going to be tested. Okay? So Isaac, you can stand up and come out here. Years, now listen to this, years after Isaac was born, Paul, God called out to Abraham, and, and he said, Abraham, take your son, you can put your arm around your son there, take your son, your only son, yes, Isaac, whom you love so much, go to the land of Moriah, go and sacrifice him as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I'll show you. Uh, right? So, so Abraham, Abraham had a decision to make. So, like, make a thinking face, like you're thinking about something. Yeah. Uh, was he going to surrender his, his only son Isaac to God? What a hard decision to make, but. Abraham loved God more than anything, and he knew a promise that God told him years before in Genesis 15, 5. Here's what it says. Next slide. Then the Lord took Abraham outside to him and said, Abraham, look up into the sky and count the stars if you can. That's how many descendants you'll have. And how many descendants are you going to have if you count all the stars? Countless, right? You can't count all the stars. And uh, you guys know how you have descendants, right? Kids, they have kids who have kids and have kids and, go, and so on. And Isaac was the first descendant. But Abraham trusted God even while his faith was tested. Okay. So you, I, need you to, I need you to act this next part out. Okay, ready? Okay. So the next morning, Abraham got up early and prepared for the journey. He brought two servants, and of course, Isaac, okay? So Abraham chopped up some wood for a fire, for a burnt offering, and they began their journey. So you two journey along here across the stage. Three days later, Abraham saw the place in the distance and told the servants to stay behind while he and Isaac kept on the journey. So Abraham placed the wood for the burnt offering on Isaac's shoulders. Can you put the wood on his shoulders? There you go. Can you hold it up there? Okay. Okay. While he carried the fire and the, so, and then Abraham carried the fire and the knife. As the two of them walked on together, Isaac turned to Abraham and said this. So Isaac, you ready? Here's your line. Father, 
Say, Father, okay? And then you say, yes, my son. Now you say this, Isaac. We have the fire and the wood, but where is the sheep? For the offering. And Abraham said, God will provide a sheep for the burnt offering. Good job. And they both walked on together. Do you think Abraham trusted God would uh, provide? Yes! Okay, so they arrived at the place to which God had directed them. And Abraham built the altar. So take the wood and build the altar. He laid out the wood and he tied Isaac and laid Isaac on the wood. Okay. Gently lay down on the wood. Okay. This was, so Abraham reached out and took the knife to kill his son, but just then an angel of God called out to him from heaven. Abraham, Abraham. And you say, Yes, I'm listening. And God said, Don't lay a hand on that boy, don't touch him. Now I have, uh, now I know you have fearlessly, uh, you, and you fear God. You didn't hesitate to place your son, your dear son, on the altar for me. Abraham looked up and he saw a ram. So look around, you see a ram, okay? And, and it's caught by its horns in the thicket. So Abraham took the ram, grab the ram, all right, there you go, and sacrificed it as a burnt offering. So as you can, as you can get up, instead of offering his son, the angel of God spoke from heaven a second time to Abraham. I swear, God's sure word, because you have gone through with this and have not refused to give me your son, your dear, dear son, I'll bless you. Oh, how I'll bless you. And I'll make sure that your children flourish like stars in the sky, like sand on the beaches. Our descendants will conquer the cities of their enemies. And through your descendants, all the nations of the earth will be blessed. All because you have obeyed me. Then they returned to the servants and traveled back. Okay, so travel back to Beersheba where Abraham continued to live. So you can travel back there. I'll take the wood. Okay, let's thank our actors. They did a good job. They just acted out a whole bunch of of Genesis. Okay, so now listen to this, you guys. There's some cool points that we can think about. So, did you know that on this same mountain, anybody know what mount that was called? Mount no. Moriah. Okay. Hold up. So, in this same place. The city there now is called Jerusalem. Anyone remember that city before? Jerusalem was built on the very spot. And the coolest thing about the story is it's the same spot generations later that Jesus would take our place and die on the cross. Did anybody know that? Where Isaac was laid up for offering is the same place that Jesus would have went on the cross. So this same mountain is where Jesus took our place, where the ram took Isaac's place. Even some of the details of the story, like how Isaac carried the wood to be filled up on the mountain. Who carried the cross? Jesus. Jesus carried his cross, right? He carried the wood on his shoulders. Abraham was asked to give his only son, and then God gave his only son. And the ultimate, God fulfills his promises. So even the thorns the ram was stuck in are often referred to as a reference to the crown of what? What kind of crown did Jesus wear? He wore a crown of thorns on the cross, right? Abraham didn't have to sacrifice his only son that day because God sacrificed his only son, Jesus, in his place. You guys. So, so do you guys think that God fulfills his promises? Let's say it together one more time. Ready? God fulfills his promises. Okay? And... You guys, what that means for you, what that means for you is that because Jesus laid down his life on the cross, he paid the penalty for our sins, yes. And so if you 
if you believe that in your heart that Jesus died for our sins, and you believe that God raised him up from the dead, that you too can have salvation and spend forever with God. Who wants to spend forever with God? I mean, yeah, yeah. So if you want to make that decision to follow God and accept Jesus' death on the cross as a payment for your sins, you can talk to me, you can talk to your teachers, you can talk to your parents. Yep, and it can help you make that decision. So can we all pray together to wrap up here? Ready? One, two, three. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you put the penalty on your only son, that you were willing to sacrifice your dearly beloved only son, and that we deserve that death, we deserve that punishment, but you took it for us. And so, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you with all of our hearts. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay.